Hello guys and welcome to my channel. With this video I will start an article series about writing a red from scratch using Windows API and C++ and also creating an antivirus in the end which stops it. This video will be just for educational purpose only as I like to present you the structure and behavior of portable executables and also how we can reverse engineer some of our functions. So if you have any bad intentions on using this knowledge, then please leave. With that being said, let's get started. So as a resume, we're gonna do the following. We're gonna create a payload will, which will be a DLL file format then we will inject the DLL into our loader. Then the loader basically will have four actions to do. Extract the payload from its memory to a folder on the system. Then we're going to use run dll 32exe to act as a run key. Then we're going to set up persistence using registry key. And at the end, loader will delete itself as the only um, a role uh, will be to deliver the payload on the system. So once uh, run dll32.exe has executed the payload from the folder, the DLL before everything else will hijack a non-GUI process. So we're gonna look for a process that's not a, doesn't have a GUI functionality uh, like svc host.exe, and we're gonna do process hollowing. So after our malicious DLL is inside svchost.exe from run dll32, we're going to start the actual code. So basically, it will start the communication with the server, like waiting for commands and so on. Let's see. I have opened up here Visual Studio. We go to Visual C++, then empty project. I'm just going to rename this project to ethical rat. It's ethical, not ethical. Okay, perfect. So I think we should start with the DLL and then run our DLL for test uh, via run DLL32 to see what's happening. All right, so first I'm gonna leave ethical rat the solution name, and then I'm gonna rename the, the project to fun DLL. We're gonna add here a source file cpp file. I'm just gonna name it fun.cpp. Before writing anything, just uh, please make sure in your uh, project properties you have the following. Windows SDK version 7.0. Make sure the platform toolset is uh, Windows XP version 1.1 underscore XP because we want to make sure that our fun DLL can run also uh, on Windows XP so on all the platforms starting from Windows XP if you don't have this option here available then please check the video description there is a um, Visual Studio update that you can install and then here the option will be available configuration type DLL file we're gonna use a multi-byte character or you know what we can just use unicode characters now in C, C++ make sure you have all the same uh, options like me optimization preprocessor definitions here make sure in edit you're gonna have you have all of these so just copy paste this yeah here make sure you enter the solution name yes capitalized yeah ethical red underscore export and also CRT secure no warnings so we don't want to receive in our fund DLL any warnings regarding any depreciated functions or undocumented uh, function and so on okay code generation make sure it's multi-threaded basic runtime checks default we can use uh, uh, function level linking um, we don't want conformance mode um, in the linker in general we don't want to increment linking and make sure in system you have the subsystem set to windows subsystem windows okay so that should be it and uh, as i said we will use windows api so this is in windows page for test we're going to create here an entry point 
is gonna return a message box uh, pop-up message and uh, we're gonna run this DLL with run dll 32 to see what I'm talking about so uh, we're gonna do it as follows extern c uh, declare spec DLL export and uh, it is a type of integer we're gonna name it this fun entry let's say uh, I think I need to misspell this all right and this is just gonna return message box a um, this handle um, we're just gonna say hello from fun from fun dll we don't want any other parameters right now okay so we're just gonna leave it like this first i am going to leave it in debug mode and just gonna rebuild so just ignore this warning about windows xp if you receive this error just go into your project and in general C++ just change this to a program database hit apply rebuild and should work okay so now if we right click and open folder location we go to debug here is our DLL so we have here a message box hello from fun DLL uh, we're gonna go to run the alert 32 so it's gonna be in C Windows system 32 here is run the alert 32 somewhere uh, so right click uh, sorry so hold down shift and right click then open command window here and we're gonna type the following so we run run um, dll32.exe um, here we're gonna put the um, we're gonna put the path of this dll I'm just gonna copy it I'm gonna put it here then uh, slash fun dll.dll so after I uh, enter the location, we're gonna put here a comma, and here comes our uh, entry point name. So it's gonna be fun entry, and that's it. And then hit enter. And as you can see, um, it says hello from fun D uh, DLL. So basically, uh, we have successfully executed our DLL uh, via run dll32.exe just uh, calling our entry and uh, and it's working so this is all the code that fun uh, has right now inside and it has executed successfully so this error just ignore it this is um, because of the flag we have put it here zero okay i'm just gonna comment this out or i'm gonna leave it there and i am gonna actually write the um, api entry uh, point of, of the dll itself uh, so basically it can detect when has been attached to something or where uh, when has been detached we're not gonna use it right now but we're gonna just uh, write it uh, to be here so it is a type of parameters so h module this is gonna be the base and a d word a double word is gonna be a callback and lp void this is a param okay just mistyped the uh... let me put it this aside and this one too okay so should look like this and we're gonna switch on this callback and if the case is that this DLL uh, is attached we're gonna do something then break else if it's detached do something and then we're gonna break 
or else we just gonna break so if it's default just break okay I'm just gonna put this aside so we're gonna leave it like this right now even though we're not using it right away and don't forget at the end to actually return one for success or actually return one yeah this function is to return true okay so we don't need right now this dll because um we don't have uh watch too much to code right now in it so i'm just gonna close it and we're gonna create a new project here um i wanted to show you a method to inject a dll into a file using uh, code caving but unfortunately i'm not going to use that right now because um, our dll will be huge so it's going to have a lot of functions and features and because of that i don't think we're going to find a suitable um, code cave inside a remote process uh, so our uh, for our uh, DLL to fit in and even though we find uh, several um, um, code caves we can actually uh, put just parts of this DLL inside each uh, code cave and um, then later on we can reconstruct them but this is a bit complicated and maybe I'm going to show it to you in another video right now we're going to do something um, else we're going to actually add two sections to a file to a portable executable one section is going to be a dummy section and the last section is going to be the section where our dll code uh, will be so for that we're going to create another project that's going to be a console app we're going to leave it as empty project we're just going to rename this ethical injector with lower n okay and we're gonna change its type we don't care um, too much from here because we're gonna run this injector so basically now uh, we're gonna create another um, app uh, we, we're gonna create another project that's gonna be the loader so we're gonna use ethical injector to inject fun dll into the last section of the loader and the previous section is gonna be a dummy section where we just gonna write something um, for distraction okay so we go to linker and system make sure it is a console type okay perfect so i'm gonna create here a cpp file I am just gonna call it uh, injector.cpp. Okay. As I said, we we use uh, Windows API, so Windows.h. We're gonna write the entry point. So int main int arg pchar char pointer. This is a uh, an array okay let me just show you we just gonna go and open fun dll debug so this is a fun dll um we're gonna open it with cff explorer you can download this tool from link down below so as you can see this is a explorer of p files um basically we're gonna do something like this in section headers in section headers just let me make it this bigger okay um, of course because uh, it has been built up with debug there are other uh, sections here too so basically these are the sections yeah so we're gonna add two sections we're gonna add one section um, it can be an empty space section I don't know, I'm just going to put an empty space. Okay, I, I'm going to rename it um, dot hey. So this is a section. Maybe we can uh, write something to it. And then the second section will be as a file data. So we, we're going to add here, I don't know, let's say we add 
we're gonna add this image this with koala okay double click and the image has been entered you you see you notice that virtual size has been um, updated also row size and so on uh, i'm gonna double click here and just name it dot test and as you can see if i click here it shows you that this is a uh, jpeg file because it starts with a header um, this here is nothing so we can also save the file like this but um, I'm not gonna do that because this is our uh, fun DLL instead of I'm gonna show you something else um, once we have um, added our DLL let's say this is the loader and we have added and we added inside the loader our DLL so now our loader needs to unpack it here we unpack something like this so we right click on this uh, last section dump section i'm gonna choose to dump it on the desktop i'm gonna say test.jpg because that was a jpeg file i'm gonna save it and you notice here has been uh, saved the actual image that has been added to the dll okay so we're gonna do something like this we're gonna create a uh, dummy section just to confuse uh, people and then in the last section actually our our uh, our uh, dll code so for that we're gonna do the following 